making some claims that are pretty outlandish, but I can back them up. Boom. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other crypto out there. So don't get it twisted. If you don't understand where you're parking your money, you're going to pay the consequences for that. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. Boom. We're obliterating everybody. Literally. There is nobody else that comes close to what Hex has done. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's about to get funky. Funkier than you could have ever imagined. Richard Hart is a boss. Hex is literally the best thing on the planet. It's simple mathematics. Right? The reality mm -hmm. is, is that I want to be rich as fuck. There's only one way to be rich as fuck. That's by sitting on your ass the longest. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's the secret. The God well told you. Richard done told you. I done told you. Kareem done told you, Maddie done told you, everybody done told you, everybody done told you, these motherfuckers still acting like they don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, <laughs> I like this, yeah. I appreciate that, I'm going to say, there's plenty of games left, <laughs> Maddie done told you, yo, everybody said it, Hey, you know what it is, man. <laughs> Everybody that told you. Yash D, everybody. My God. Hex Asians, bro. Everybody. Australia, man. Everybody gets you. Yo, what is the truth? Dollar Club. Everybody that told you. It's crazy. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a uh, outstanding Wednesday. <laughs> I know a lot of people out there in the markets are not uh, living the fantastic life that we are. And um, that's kind of what we're going to talk about today, right? Because that's kind of the problem. Uh, people keep trying to find these. I don't even know what to call it at this point, right? I mean, it, you know, it's just simple facts of the matter right um and these are the kinds of things that people don't want to recognize you know why do markets crash right and these are things that people just try not to understand they think that looking at a chart is really going to save them one it's not right like by the time that shit makes sense to you it's too late they're done. Right? You're toast. And these are the kinds of things that, you know, it takes people a while to realize because they have to get their ass handed to them because it doesn't make sense sometimes otherwise. Because guess what? Just like I used to hear guys saying all this stuff I'm telling you guys now, um, you know, it didn't stick. Right? It's not everybody that catches on to things when they hear it the first time. It's not everybody that understands the implications of a statement when they hear it, unfortunately, no matter how much we want them to learn, right, just with our words. And this is the point, really, of, of I mean, this is the reason why I have 100 streams plus, right, and they're all an hour long. Who the hell wants to sit through that? I mean, somebody that wants to learn, because that's what I did, right? How do you get to, to my level? It's about putting in the time, putting in the work. Um, because if you're not willing to listen to somebody that knows what to do, then we fall by the wayside, right? And, and this is how we learn by taking the licks, right? And this is, this is what's happening because not only did I call the top Kareem, Richard Hart, so many people have called the top in markets that, I mean, it's, it's named, you know, it's endless at this point, Jay. You know, kinetics, I mean, whoever, right? I mean, you guys have heard us all talk about it. Um, and it's happening, right? And, and again, it's not to gloat. This is not a gloat session, right? It's, it's, a, it's a session to bring understanding to how is it that certain individuals can see things and others cannot. Because I'm going to tell you, nothing is hidden, right? 
Nothing is hidden. Sometimes we just let our desires and emotions get carried away with what we actually want to do. Right? And that's the danger. And thanks for the super chat, Jesse James. I appreciate the 20, brother. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to share positive information that's going to take people that find themselves in a shitty situation um, and put them in the right frame of mind. Right? Because, hey, I've blown up many accounts before, man. I've lost tons of money playing this game. And this is why we're going to have this conversation. Right? We need to understand the very basic elements of what we're doing before we can actually even understand what's going on. Right? How is it that I can sit here and constantly talk about Hex and never change my tune? You got to realize there's got to be a reason for that. It can't be a mistake on my part. There's no way I've been talking about Hex since below was a cent and I'm all of a sudden just going to change my tune. There's a reason why we keep talking about Hex and, and its properties, right? And how they're, they're so superior in so many ways and all of the reasons that underpin that reality right because here we are down right we're down like the rest of the market is down sure but if you look at what's happened what's actually happened is we started going down significantly relatively sooner than everybody else right today bitcoin is down five percent so far and we're down ten percent nine percent but what does that look like in reality is it really 9% for us? If you're staked, that's not 9% for you, period. You're not taking any losses, in fact. Very few, right? And these are the kinds of things that, you know, it's hard for people to really wrap their head around when they are trying to understand Hex because it's not to pump Hex, per se. It's to pump the design of Hex. Hex could be called fucking blue dog crap. You know, it really doesn't matter. It's about what it is, what it does, what it's designed for, what it's designed to do, and all of those things, right? And and, and let me just stop, take a moment, and, and say what's up to everybody in the chat. Um, you know, thank you guys again for, for always tuning in to hear me babble. Um, you know, we're just trying to share relevant information that's going to make people money, right? We're not being greedy over here. We're not charging for this information. This is really, really plain vanilla information that most people just don't even have access to that. If they did, they might change their tune a little bit. They might not degen so much if they actually sat there and thought about it, right? Because it's not about telling people what to do. You know, and I think people misunderstand that. It's about educating people on how to how to live the most stressless life. Because I'm going to tell you guys, I spent 10 years, man, day trading. Like, almost a full 10 years day trading. And it's not fun. It wears you down. And when you're a young guy, and you hear old dudes like me say this shit, you're like, what is this guy even talking about? No concept of reality, right? I mean, imagine sitting in front of a screen for because here's the thing: the markets I've traded were not like the stock market. They were markets where you made money every single day. So just like you go out, or just like you see these professional athletes go out on the field of whatever sport they're playing, they go out there to win. They don't go out there to lose and say what's up and and whatever else, right? Like they're going out there to crush it. They're not going out there to fuck around, right? And this is the kind of thing you got to realize when you're out here paying attention to what is going on in the field because what, what's happening right now, you know? How is it that so many people get, get wrecked in markets and we're here just on the sidelines? It's like, damn, that sucks, bro. Should have listened, right? We, could, we can say I told you so all day. Right. We, we've been doing that for over a year already. We've never been wrong. We have all the receipts. Right. All the receipts. See, and this is something that people are going to come to learn because people don't understand how reality works. And it's something that I've come to learn the hard way because I didn't understand it as a young man. 
Um, and this is something that, you know, I was literally having a discussion about this for two hours a day <laughs> because it's all about perception, right? In a lot of ways, that's what it's all about. But is it just that? No, because it's about the context as well. Yes, of course, because if what happened recently didn't happen, you wouldn't have that frame of reference to give you that point of view with which to analyze and contrast and compare. And this is something that we have to keep in mind, right? We've just seen an epic debacle in the cryptocurrency space that underpins all of the basic things that we talk about, right? The standard, immutable, no admin keys, product market fit, intelligent design, intelligent logic, right? All of this is tied into product market fit, really and to what underpins you know the the utility of this code right because first and foremost what's happening you know we're allocating money to software okay and this was the main thing that it was hard for us to understand at first you know the early days we thought bitcoin and blockchain were the same thing there's still people that think that today 12 years later 13 years later Right. So this is something that we got to keep in mind when we're playing this game. This is just software. That's lesson number one. So if you're putting money in software that is not complete and still needs upgrades and still does this and still has that, what does that mean? I mean, you know, think about that for two seconds. Right. We're all used to seeing that. We're all used to seeing software that is not finished, and it, it's usually a crapshoot, right? I mean, if you use Microsoft Office or even Apple's iOS, their operating system, any OS software, right? It kind of sucks. It's not really the best. It's not, and we all know this, right? We've all experienced software that is crappy. And this is what we need to think about when we're thinking about cryptocurrency. This is what we need to relay to people that are new to cryptocurrency, right? This is software. Anything that is not treated as such is not cryptocurrency. It's a replicated stock market. Now, this is an important distinction. Very important. Because what this means is, is that if you don't treat the thing that you're looking at the proper way it's going to burn you right if you touch a hot stove should you be touching it no of course not your skin does not have the biological build to handle your hand touching a hot stove in other words it's not meant for you and this is important this is supremely important because this one fact, you know, is this what I think it is? That one anecdote can make or break a decision that you're making, right? Because this is what I well, this is what I try to teach. I try to teach people how to make decisions because that's where I'm effed up at life. That's why I dropped the ball. We're all smart. We're all capable. It's just about the decisions that we make. That's what takes us down the path that we don't even want to be traveling down most of the time, right? Who wants to take a loss? Who in this who in this world that's watching this stream right now is investing money to take a loss ever? Who? Right? Right. Who, who? Who? Nobody invests money to lose money. Right. Nobody. And, and, and that's something that people got to understand. Nobody invests money to lose. And this is why the education that we provide as a community is paramount. You know, even though so many people battle with us, it's just because they don't understand that they don't know. 
You know, how do we overcome that as a community? It's difficult. It's difficult. And it's moments like these, right, where we can sit here and dance on graves or we can reach out to others, explain to them what happened, why they got wrecked, you know, point them to a whales only stream, point them to a K4K, point them to whoever's giving actual information that's valid. I'll put it like that. It don't matter who it is, actually. Just pick somebody. Don't got to be me. I don't care. Just as long as these people are receiving the correct information that is showing them what cryptocurrency actually is. Crypto Coffee, whoever, right? You guys know what I mean. Send them to the right place where they're going to get the right information. Because people are out here getting buried, man. This is the shit that pisses me off about fool rules. And excuse my language, but man, where does it end? These are the same people that were out here down talking us for two years. Talking that Hex is a scam, Richard is a scammer and all this nonsense. But they're out here promoting non-cryptocurrencies. They're lying. They're, They're perpetrating a fraud of massive proportions. The whole promise coin space is, and this is what people do not understand. Take that in. And for those that are new to the community and don't know what a furu is, a furu is a fake guru, someone that pretends to know something that they, in fact, do not know a single thing about. And the cryptocurrency, in quotes, space, is rife with those individuals. And the problem is, is that a lot of them pretend to know what they do not know. And that is the issue. The Luna debacle makes that perfectly clear. Because here's the funny thing. If it was done right, guess what? Nobody would have ever cared that a UST existed. Just like nobody cares about a USDC existing. Just like nobody cares about a USDT existing. We know what's going on, but guess what? We're not breaking the buck there, are we? No, the market is not breaking the buck there. And if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. Uh, I know I'm kind of 100 miles an hour, so please, if you, if you can and you're new, uh, let me know in the chat because I'm never really paying attention to the chat, but we're really going to try to make a concerted effort here moving forward to really try to address all levels of understanding because i mean you know the the longer we go into this game man you know the more important the information that we as a community have to share is and this is kind of my call right to all um we are the ones that are in control of this space now it's not the bitcoin maxis it's not anybody else not the Ethereum people. It's not anybody else. We run the show now. It's officially the fact of life. How many times does Richard have to go on these streams and make everybody else look foolish? How many times does the market have to dump? Look, right now we're at 29,000. Let me, I mean, let me share my screen and just stop talking to myself, I guess. Um, give me a second guys. Let me, let me get right. Um, and I'll, and I'll try to bring some people on later. Uh, I just want to talk to the community right now because I really want you guys to hear what I'm saying, because it's on us. We're the ones that control the show now. So what are we going to do? Are we going to step up to the challenge and show ourselves as number one, because we are number one, or are we going to continue to act like children and just gloat because we can We know we're good. No, we know we're good. This is why people hate us, because we know we're good. Right now, how long have we been going sideways? We've been going sideways, meaning no new all-time high, since 233 days. Okay? So we got 233 days of opportunity. Oh, and we got a special guest. Dun, dun, dun. I don't have that Jim Rat Crypto music, but uh, I'll work on it. 
Oh, what up, homie? <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? What's going on, man? Thanks for joining me, man. Look, I always, uh, I ne- I rarely have anybody on because I'm like, hey, I'm about to go live in like 10 minutes. Here's the link. <laughs> I'm like, bro, just keep inviting me. I'll show up one of these days. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent one to, to Jim Rad. I sent one to Thought Child in a little bit. I just want to kind of really have a, a staged kind of conversation, right, where certain people can bring certain aspects to the conversation. And I thought you and me would be the right people to kind of start it off with, then bring people like Thoughts and Rags in, which are kind of not necessarily lower level, but in terms of knowledge of crypto per se, like outright in the whole big picture, as far as crypto and markets, like they're a little on down and and it's not to disrespect them at all it's just to get their vantage points after we do whatever the hell we do so that they can add in their two cents because their two cents is actually more valid than ours because we've been around you see what i mean so i'm kind of we forget how other people think and we don't know how to address those thoughts exactly so i'm trying to really work on being more thoughtful uh in regards to how we address topics on this channel because we really got to just take over and how are we going to take over if we keep just shitting on everybody and not in the right way right in in the wrong way and there's nothing wrong with winning all the time it's about how you handle winning i think would you not say so dude i love that and and, uh does my audio sound okay by the way i got a new setup sounds great all right so I like that, man. I think that I think that a lot of people lose sight of the fact that there's levels to this stuff. Yes. And and as we learn and as we grow as a community, we punch through ceilings. And and as that, as we punch through, we're expected to kind of carry ourselves in a different way. We've gotten out of the stage where, you know, we're still at we're still at war. But it's certainly not as bad as, as what you guys. It's are not doing. really war. I, yeah, I think. It's not. Uh, I think. I think. So look, RG says this all the time. Um, you know, he says we have already won the war. Right. You know, we're just waiting for everybody else to realize. That's honestly what we're doing, and this is why it's so hard for us because we know what we got going on over here. We don't need to justify it, right? Right. Right, it's exactly. gonna happen. The math's gonna, gonna take happen. over, just like you say all the time. Like at mm-hmm. this point, we need to transition into a focus of of education and re-education, right? Correct. Correct. More so than having to throw fists like the past. Correct. So I, I like that we message move, that you're, yeah. you're bringing up. Yeah, we move past that point for sure. It's one yeah. thing to call people out; it's another thing to just be throwing out fists, right? Um, and this is something that I kind of want the community to kind of wrap their head around, you know, cause we've been battling for two years, man. Ever since I showed up, it's been a war, Yeah. you know, and, and yo, we've, we've dusted them and it's not even a competition at this point. It's not. And this is with us down, you know, yeah. however much we're down a day, it's, it's sad, right? Because what's happening? Well, everybody's looking at this one thing that isn't as down as much as everything else, especially when they look at it on a longer time frame than just one day. Yeah. And that's the catch. It's decor related. Dude, you know, I'm 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 seeing I think there's a misunderstanding still. There definitely is a misunderstanding uh, in the crypto community outside of us. And people think that that we exist to uh to play nicely and to play ball with the rest of crypto. But in my opinion, and I think you might share the same opinion, we 100%. Exist, you don't even have we to exist it. to change it. Yeah, we, <laughs> we're changing the paradigm. This isn't That's about right. being in their world anymore. This is about no. being in our own world. That's right. So when I hear comments from, from bigger influencers, and, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, I'm just going to go ahead and give those caveats out now. But listen, like I don't think people understand the point of what this is. The point of Pulse Chain is not to onboard the Correct. rest of crypto. No. It's Believe to change it or not. The standard. It's a change of the Correct. standard of crypto. That's right. Correct. And, and Richard said it yesterday. He said, I allowed the rest of the crypto community to have these airdrops. I didn't need it. I didn't need to do it if I didn't want to. I just wanted to create pulse chain for hexagons. 
so we can create our own world regardless of them. If you want to join, cool. If you see, cool. We're still going to be successful without the rest of cryptocurrency. So it's not about pandering to their wants and needs. It's about to con it's about continuing to build on what we have already. And Correct. that's that's a really hard concept for new people that are coming in to what we have going on to kind of grasp and understand. What do you think? Oh, 100% because they're used to what they see everywhere else. Right. I mean, think about it. What what's the what's the quantity, right, of paid groups within this community? It's almost non-existent. People no, just don't yeah, right. do that here, right? I mean, right. I just started doing that like a month ago, and you don't even hear me talking about it yeah. for fuck's sake, right? Yeah. Like, nobody knows. I just put up the little scrolling ticker at the bottom, and I don't even care. It's like, yo, if you see it, you see it. If you don't, whatever. Like, we're not here for that. And I think that's the difference. People don't really realize that, right? And this is why I think it's important to have this conversation, right? We really need to change our tune and our tone in regards to how we address the space, because look, we are the space. It's clear. Mm -hmm. We don't have these issues that the rest of the space does with their products or projects, Good which, point. which, which, which will never be products because they don't really have that intention. If they did, I think we would have seen at least another one by now. Yeah, we, we don't, man. We don't have these issues. We just don't, man. And, you know, I'm going to I'm going to pivot a little bit here um, mm -hmm. because we do need to address what's happening. We look at the the Luna, the UST thing, and everybody's mm -hmm. talking about that left and right. I, I think this is an important message. Um, you guys got to understand that that cryptocurrency, generally speaking, is very, very young. The advantage that we have over bureaucracy is that we can fail. We can fail fast and we can pick ourselves up quicker than bureaucracy can. A lot of projects across crypto had the code of the algorithmic stable coin from Luna built into their smart contracts. And a lot of people are, are they're having meetings right now and they're freaking out. Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Look. All yeah. right. Let me let me full disclosure. Yeah, I don't know anything about Luna except that it's an algo stable coin and those just do not work, period. I don't care who you are. You want to know why I can make that statement? Because the people in the promise coin space don't respect math. And that's exactly why Luna's falling apart. Right. If they right. would have respected the math, this shit wouldn't be happening. In fact, yeah. there would be no admin keys and all of the rest. It would be just like what we have. But because the rest of the space thinks that they have a clue this is the end result. Yeah, the end result is billions and billions of dollars gone from a coin that everybody thought was the sure thing. But when you look at it, when you understand what actually happened, the algorithmic stable coin, it, it's it's an experiment, really. If you don't if you don't have anything backing up the algorithmic side, it's really going to smash. It's really going to fail. And that's exactly what happened. And they saw it coming and they didn't do something about it sooner. They had actually almost implemented the fix, which wasn't even really a fix because it was, they were going to shore it up with Bitcoin. They were going to try to buy up the price of UST algorithmically, but their Bitcoin was sitting in a wallet anyway, and they were going to sell at a loss. So the whole point about this is we can look at UST and we can see all the bad things that happen. And believe it or not, that's a really, really good thing for the rest of crypto because people are going to understand a little bit better that the nobody danger. is immune to the problems. Mm -hmm. Not As long as you're playing the games that the rest of crypto is playing and you have this centralized authority that's calling the shots and the algorithmic stable coins with no type of collateral backing, it, it's, it's, it's going to blow up. So these are lessons that we have to learn and learn quick because... There are people on this earth that don't want us to exist. Most government and banking institutions, they don't want us to exist by themselves. They want to control it. So they're going to use these opportunities with stable coins to create wedges amongst everybody. And then what are they going to do? They're going to offer their solution on a silver platter, which is the CBDC, which is going to be the most the, the worst thing imaginable for cryptocurrency. And we've been talking uh, about that for... Gone. And we've been talking about that for over a year, right? Yeah, it's, it's and, and it's coming. You know, you know what's funny? <laughs> UST and Luna absolutely got got destroyed. 
Not even mm-hmm. 12 hours later, the Senate Finance Committee, Janet mm-hmm. Yellen's talking about Luna. Yep. You know what else is funny? You look at the chart. Look at Luna's chart. There was massive amount of shorts starting to stack up just before the chart fell off the face of the map. Usually and that's work. not by chance or coincidence. Mm-hmm. Usually this stuff's work. planned. And and you gotta you, people have to understand that. This is planned. This is not a coincidence, and this is why people need to understand. Number one, cryptocurrency is software, it is not money in the way that you think of it. It is software first and foremost. We create we human beings, us, those of you watching. Me, rags, all of us co- cohesively, collectively, as one unit, decide that this shit is money because of how it works and because we understand how to read and because we understand how to process information. This is why it's money. It's, it's not money because it is. It's actually software. And this is what's hard for people to wrap their heads around when it comes to cryptocurrency to the point that they call it fake and, and a scam and all these other things, which is just not true because money is a social consensus. Period. Yeah. You know, it, and, and this outlines this too, and I heard you kind of talking about it. Luna put to market a product that was massively subpar and mm-hmm. untested. Mm-hmm. They saw this coming from a mile away for a long time, and they didn't Did do anything to fix nothing. it. Nothing, and that's what they always do. It's math. You can see. You know how it's going to operate. You can overload yep. the system. You can see these. You can see these coming. So let's talk about it real quick, because this this is really simple, right? A stable coin that's algorithmically back, quote unquote, yeah, is is something that should not require any rocket science, no team, no nothing. It just sounds fancy. All you got to do is throw a bucket of collateral behind that peg and ensure that that collateral is always balanced to the quantity of, quote unquote, stable coin. Right. in the system that's it it's it's a fucking balancing act it's not rocket science so the fact that this happened just goes to show the severe lack of professionalism care and simple disdain for the user i mean it's disgusting imagine all the people that put money into this and they just got wiped out and this is why i get so heated when people try to talk to me about promise coins or shit coins, meme coins or whatever you want to call them, I'm like, yo, you can take your money over there and do whatever you want with it. Don't expect me to talk about crap ever. I will always talk yeah. about things that are what they're supposed to be. Yeah. And and this comment on the screen is exactly what's up. This is why I haven't taken it down. Luna and Maximus made me appreciate Hex properties much, much more. That's a good point. You know, Check this out, Wales. Richard talked about this yesterday, but there's one other piece that he didn't mention. And he talks about he talks about the Luna Foundation purchasing mm. three billion dollars of Bitcoin at forty seven thousand <laughs> and then having to sell it to try to shore up the peg of UST. What he right. didn't talk about, you know what else they did, Wales? What else? They printed millions and millions of Luna out of thin air. To try to also that? prop up that price. How about how that? much more scammy can you get, man? Mm, 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 mm. Nobody Talk talks about, about that. Your dude. currency. I had no idea. Dude, they printed millions and millions just trying to do anything they could to shore yeah, up the lease. To save it. That's exactly how it works. They're still down. They're still yeah. down 60, 50 percent, man. 30 percent, whatever. It's crazy. Yeah, whatever it is, I think it's more than fifty percent at this point. I'm gonna pull it up. I'll, you can talk. I'm gonna check it out. Actually, yeah, go ahead and you can share your screen if you want. I mean, look, the whole purpose of this conversation is for us to realize that the future of this space is in our hands. Literally, every single one of us plays a role, whether you like it or not, because the future cannot be left up to those that want to dismantle it. Right. If you think this Luna Terra UST situation is a coincidence, no, it's not. Mm -mm. This is clearly planned because why are they talking about it 12 hours later? Right. And I'm about to share Rags screen. You good to go, Rags, on the screen? Yeah, yeah, I'm good to go. Wow. So here we go. So this this is UST. Now, some people, and I'm on the daily daily time frame here. Mm -hmm. Look how far this a a a stable coin wicked all the way down 73% off wow 
people freak out when stable coins are at like 98 cents yeah or 97 cents this thing was at 26 cents we're Insane. talking about liquidations we're talking about billions and billions of dollars i'm hearing stories left and right and listen this was three days ago when this when this fell off the face of the earth and they still haven't recovered how much cat how much exogenous capital is it going to take to dump into this what type of backdoor deals are they going to have to make to try to fill this up is it even worth it at this point considering they spent That's so much bitcoin to That's try to shore it up considering they debased the value of luna that was already quote unquote burned wasn't burned they brought it back and now we're still sitting here let's look at luna oh my god wow Incredible. How far? Let's check. Let's check it out. It was at a hundred bucks, wasn't it? Just yeah. last month. <laughs> yep. It's down ninety eight point nine percent in three wow. days. Incredible. I mean, how do you justify? How do you justify something like this existing in any other capacity? Because it exists in other capacities. It's right? so cringe, man. It's so hard. Like. You and I, if we were the founders of something like this, we would never have brought this to market until we knew 100% for sure that it was completely viable all the time. Right. They didn't do this. They didn't care about it. Their whole thing was get it to market as fast as possible and we'll deal with the problems later. We're dealing with people's money, man. Yeah. People's livelihood. This is people, what we're talking people about. People think here, it's folks. a joke for some reason. I they really do. don't know it's why. Crazy. Yeah, I really don't know why people think it's a joke because, I mean, when I get mad on stream to the point that I'm dropping all these F-bombs and I'm all fucking sounding crazy, it's yeah. because I take this seriously because guess what? Where I work, they don't take it seriously, and that's exactly why cryptocurrency exists, and I think people just fail to realize that. It's a game, man. It's just a mm -hmm. game to them, and, and people don't – here. It's it's funny, especially where you work. I'm just going to assume this is how this works. People work in this industry for you, and as long as they see that they're getting paid, they don't care about anything else. Nope. They don't care nope. about you or me or whoever's nope. doing business with them. They don't. They just care about that end result, which is more money in their pocket, period. Right. And they say, well, they always pass the buck to the person mm -hmm. above them. Well, it's not That's me. Right. I'm just following orders. That's it. That's right. Ugh. That's the excuse at all times. Yeah. Just following orders. Now... How would you feel, you in the chat, you watcher, you viewer, how would you feel if you put your money in Hex and you were staked and you've been staked this whole time? 900 days of flawless action, price action, activity, software, whatever. And all of a sudden, just goes to zero. How would you feel? Because because that's kind of the thing. How do we? How are we so confident in stating that that's not going to happen? Because we know there are no admin keys and we understand what the word immutable means. That's critical. Because if software and cryptocurrency land is not like that, then that's not a cryptocurrency. So much so that it even paused development and Pulsex for a little bit because of the buy and burn. Remember? That was a problem because he, Richard talked about it one time when he was like, you know, for now, we haven't figured out a way to make the buy and burn functionality that we want to deploy in the tokenomics of PulseX key less. Mm -hmm. And what, he, what did they do? They figured out how to make a key less. Why? Because that's how critical that is to what we're right. doing here. And I think it's high time we do our best to employ you know, deploy, deploy this reality to people. Tell them, hey, look at Luna. Hey, look at this. Hey, look at that. All these middleman tragedies that exist in crypto. Right? <clears throat> There's a reason that we say no middleman. Not your keys, not your coin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because these folks are operating in the Wild West where they can literally get away with whatever they want. This isn't like what MCA is doing. MCA has to abide by the actual law. They can't just do whatever they want with your information, even though it's crypto. That's the funny thing. Because guess what MCA is doing? MCA is taking the existing 
legal structure and intertwining crypto wealth with it. That's what it's doing. So it's not the same thing. So it's important to understand the difference, right? These crypto guys, or at least want to be crypto guys, are literally fucking around and making securities. And nobody in the space is the wiser because they're just left alone and allowed to do that. But that's the reality. That's the reality. We got people out here making securities. And we can't have that. Because what that means is that then we all get looked at crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's and what it's, ultimately it's gonna happens. It's going to be so easy. We, mm-hmm. we, it's going to be so easy to hit us, man. That's the problem. Well, it kind of already is when you think about it, right? No, yeah, I'm saying that that's the problem. The problem is people are just pushing into the stuff and they don't really care about, they don't think past past today. And that's the issue. The other issue is the immutability part, just like you said. Wales, are you noticing something here with money and, and crypto, et cetera? Are you noticing that when human beings get involved, really, really bad things happen? Yep. You Actually, notice that? Yes, yes I, I have, yes. You notice that with the Federal Reserve. You notice that with the banks. Oh, sorry, you guys, that with made, crypto. Yeah. What's up, brother? Oh, no worries, yeah. brother. Good morning. Dude, it's just, good it's <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, yeah, I'm, no. I as much as ahead. I can be awake for this kind of stuff, I need to experience all this. So. Yeah, th- this is why I want you and Thoth to come in. Um, mm-hmm. we'll probably be on until like 5.30 or so. I want to go get oh, a nice run in. Um, Tov, I just sent you the link if you can hop in, brother. If I don't know if you're busy or not, I, I, I don't like to presume. Um, so that's why I kind of just like want to leave it on till later so he can hear me talking and be like, Yeah, have his mind working and be like, Yeah. So, what was the conversation me and Rags were having? Right? You, Jim Rat, are new essentially to the space to the point that you're trying to make yourself as good as the rest of us to a certain extent, right? Like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to be able to explain to whoever what a T-share is, what a T-share rate is. I just want to stop being able to ask people. I'm so sick of asking motherfuckers for help that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's a waste of time. And so I got to find like the few people that do. And and learn. Yeah. And learn how to learn because what, here's a cool thing. What you end up learning from people that know is, hey, this is what I did to learn this. Right. How did how did I learn all the stuff that I know? I wasn't born being some brainiac that could just absorb all this random information through osmosis. You know, that's not real. Uh, I had to put in work and read and, and 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 learn and bleed and all this stuff. Right. Like it's it's not something that kind of just happens. Right. And, and it's events like the lunar crash and and Bitcoin going down and people buying it at 45 K thinking it was going to 60 or whatever the, the narrative was at that point in time. I mean, it's things like that that teach us these lessons that we, people that have already been through them, are trying to share, you know, uh, community-wide, you know, industry-wide, really. I mean, this is what staking is all about, right? Staking is about crap like that not being possible. I mean, stable coins are so easy that I don't understand why people act like they're hard. And you want to know why they act like they're hard, because they're trying to justify their existence within the ecosystem so that they can exercise whatever little bit of power they want to over that thing. Unfortunately, that's what's true, because Richard doesn't do that. None of us do that. We, we, we cannot do that. Hex is just there. Nobody can do anything to it. And that's the power and the difference in representing Hex versus representing something with a middleman behind it. I mean, look at all these fool rules that were promoting this crap and have the goal to act like you got to feel sorry for them. Man, fuck out of here, bro. It's not my fault you stupid and cannot read. Abstract of the Bitcoin white paper, first line, lets you know what cryptocurrency is. And to break it down even further, we must understand that it is simply software. And the best software will win this game. It's that simple. I mean, how the hell did Bitcoin go from zero to sixty thousand dollars, folks? It's, that's it's the so first. That's kind so of many f- factors. 
But think about it. Think about it. Right. That's kind of the first iteration. That's what I was going to say. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, but that no. was the first. That was the first inter- iteration. Right. Like Bitcoin was like, all right, let's let's roll the dice and see how it goes. And it went as well as zero to sixty nine thousand. <laughs> That's not a mistake. <clears throat> you know, there's some reasoning behind that. Name brand notoriety. And that's with all the arbing and the shit within the system. Yeah. That occur. Like it, it, and I always I like to think about that too because people don't think about that. Like people think Bitcoin is perfect. There's a lot of rich people that use Bitcoin to be richer. Mm-hmm. So just remember that. Like the, smart rich people, you know, smarter than the average rich. Like there's whales out there that play games with us plebs. Yeah. And they and they use the arb to play it. And they laugh. And yeah, people and buy, buy it. it. They just buy the whole. It is like, yeah, it's a market cycle. Everything goes like that. But it's just like Bitcoin has its problems, too. And it still was that explosive. Yep. Precisely. So imagine something like Hex. Decentralized. No admin keys. Immutable. Just works. Never down. Just a software that operates. It's just designed to operate. It's very simple. Right. And now you take Pulse Chain into account. It's essentially the same deal, except for that it's a blockchain. Pulse X, same deal, except for that it's a DEX. Pulse Chain is so, going to be ridiculous. All of Bro, them are we're, being, be we're being played. I mean, he, the whole market is freaking out. Mm-hmm. Right. But then you look at the people who actually hold long term. And you're looking at these folks and you're saying, well, what are these people doing? Mm-hmm. Look at this. They're buying like crazy. Yep. All right. So this is 2016. Uh, it is crazy to see on like the Bitcoin chart, just to really think about it. Like, wow. Now it's check a, this out too. Cool. Look, they're buying right now. We had two tops dis- distributing out. Everybody was selling their bags. These smart people were selling to get their profits to rebuy at the bottom. And now they're going crazy. Now let's check Ethereum. Ethereum, same thing. Look at that curve going up. Let's check Cardano. You guys got to understand too how this how this game works. They're, they, The people who actually matter, they, they know. They know what's, what's happening right now. And they're trying to push you guys out. They're trying to push us out. Because they want to corner the market and take over and have all the power over the market. So when you talk about whale games, this is the type of stuff that we're talking about here. And it, it doesn't matter what crypto at this point. And it just goes to show you that the whole market's freaking out. MSNBC, CNN, everybody. Horrible day, et cetera, et cetera. But the people behind the scenes who can actually move the markets and have the financial energy to do so, all they're doing is buying right now. That's it. That's all they're doing is buying. I mean, they might be some people might be waiting a little bit. According, yeah, yeah I mean, there'd be a lot of. I mean, there's still room for. But yeah, the there's retail still room people. For are, yeah, the retail people are for sure. You go down. Look at this. Uh, let's go down to who would we consider retail? Like right now. Anybody that's trading anything that's not hex is literally retail, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Yes. No, I mean, I mean, th- th- that's that's correct. And now the question becomes: When are these guys gonna start buying hex? When are the big boys gonna start buying hex? Have they started? I don't think so. I think. Yeah. I think. Okay, so where's the market now? Let me look. Is that twenty nine thousand? Oh, nasty. Uh, you got you got Bitcoin chart there, or you want me? To yeah, pull I'll it pull up? it up. Hold okay, on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No rush, no rush. But the market is looking really nasty. It's breaking its previous low that was made in the summer of July 2021. Um, and if it breaches that and it closes below there, then it's probably going to go on ahead and just tag 15K just for good measure. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. like it did on that 3K. Like I remember when it, sure. remember when it cut 3,400 at the COVID, it just bounced yep. right back. It never saw it again. <laughs> It was like a freaking, it was, uh, every time moves like that happen, it reminds me of like an electric shock. Because it's like, it just runs into it and just reverses it. It's fun right? to see. Yeah. Bro, and, we don't have he, capitulation volume yet either. No, I mean, this, this is, is just getting down. started. This is yeah. just getting started, folks. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, we're, I, I think we hit 20 pretty quick and we'll see what happens there.
We are on the way down. It's a good time to back your stablecoin with Bitcoin because we have a lot of downside. <laughs> well, what's interesting is that the further the market goes down, we've already we're already down 70 percent, 80 percent. We can't go down any further. Mm -mm. Right. And this is what people don't understand about the correlation of X. It's just not it's not like everything else. The things here happen differently just because they're happening on a specific set of days at the same time doesn't mean that overall it's the same motion in the ocean, right? It just happens to be that same momentary wave. That is all. But overall, if you look at Bitcoin versus Hex, the waves are not the same. The motion is not the same. They're not correlated. Same thing with ETH. Now, what that means is that Bitcoin and ETH are correlated, and they are to the stock market because if you pull up the S&P, what you see, the same shit you're looking at this chart. Same exact yeah. thing you're looking at on this chart. It's not going to be any different whatsoever. Might be different because it's a different asset class and it's not 24 hours, but nonetheless, it's the same Here's thing. The Look, that's an NASDAQ, same thing. <clears throat> so that's just a highlight, right? I mean, what more can we say? Pictures do not lie, <laughs> right? And when, when pictures, yeah, <laughs> but that's, that's the power in them, right? We can. So why is TA such an important thing? TA is an important thing because we get to see what happened in the past and learn from that right and to such a point that when i treat it now this is how i view ta i kind of view it as as drawing art in real time right because if a price candle you think is going to close one way and then it closes another that probably means it invalidated your whole thesis and thought process that whole thing that you thought was going to happen probably isn't going to happen if it invalidates what you expected to see Right. And T.A. to me, to me personally, is that simple. I don't think you need to know all everything in, in Edward. I can't remember Edward McGee's book, which is like the OG technical analysis book. Like, I don't think you need to know all that. Like, I read it. You don't like I don't use any of that stuff. I just go off of what I see in the chart and that's it. And that's and, and here's the best part about that. <clears throat> the best part about that is. We already have this stuff in our heads. It's just based on what we see. Done. This is the chart that you don't see, that you the people don't show very much. This is the dollar currency index, the DXY. So let's check. What's the DXY doing? May 1st of 1985 to now, we're down almost 40%. If this trend line holds and we push out to about, you know, maybe let's just check the distances here. So peak to trough, it's about 10 years, you know, 15 years. If we look at this and something's not done seriously with our economy, we can seriously be in about 10 years down probably 65 to 70% US dollar. And from this point to 10 years, we could easily be down about 50% on the dollar where we are now. Right. So <laughs> the other question I have about all this, you know, why are we even, why are we even using stable coins uh, while they're pegging to the U S dollar at this point? I got to tell you something, man. When I came back to crypto, I had a hard time understanding that. I, I just could not wrap my head around that. Why the hell are we like, why does this, it didn't exist in my day is it just for convenience so what it ended up happening is that they created this damn stable coin and what ended up happening is that people overseas flooded that market because they use it as a digital representation of a dollar so what ended up happening is that people started accepting that instead of actual dollars so that was actually a thing that is a thing my no, man beforehand no, it wasn't. Like when, did, when did like digital like dollars that weren't that happened after? Because okay, so back in the day, Ripple and or XRP and XLM were the original stable coins. Oh, I see. They were the original stable coins. Then after them came USDC, USDT, and all that other crap that are trying to be like the dollar. And that's where you get the rest of this from. <clears throat> A little wild, but. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah. yeah, the whole stablecoin thing is interesting because it's like 
It just depends on what random people want, not what's necessarily best for everyone. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. cool and it's nice, I guess, if you can interact with the banks in a flawless world. But in what world is that going to occur flawlessly? Correct. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, in yeah. a perfect world, it is. Like, cool. But the world isn't perfect, bro. But we get legislation that makes the rules. Correct. But that's why. We, but OK. So and this is the thing, right? This is why we're doing all the things we're doing in the real world. You know, MCA is just one facet of what we need to do as a community to essentially embed ourselves in their world because they try to act like the money isn't real over here. I don't know why, <laughs> but they're going to learn quickly that it is right because we understand that all we have to do is bridge our wealth to theirs. And that's what MCA is about in a lot of ways. And this is why it's really going to be the foundation of the new financial of the financial future of the world. I mean, it has to be because what's happening. We know fiat is over. We know this. So what are we doing? Well, we're essentially saying, all right, well, we pick crypto. We're not picking gold this time or silver. That's what's actually happening. Now, if you're finding yourself in the wrong crypto, then you're probably not looking too hot right now. Right. Because you bought at a top. Hex has already been down for let me see hex has been going sideways around this area for two months ten, already uh, ten months uh this area yeah this this area two months really already but again you can just always point back to that 365 roi and you're just like well what you can point back to is the fact that if you bought in the past 133 days a you should have staked which is the whole purpose of really trading and everything else because we're trying to compound capital no yes, yes. that's right and that's why people that don't understand staking fail because they end up playing themselves in the way that they end up looking at the market and how they should address it. Because what are they doing? Instead of just allocating capital in an intelligent manner, what they end up doing is trying to chase returns elsewhere. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, when, you, when you end up chasing returns, I don't know if you remember rags back in the day, uh, the chase for yield, back in 2015, 16, when they started cutting rates negative, that's mm -hmm. all you heard about yep. because that gets people wrecked. Why did it get people wrecked? Because what that would mean is that they would invest in shit like Venezuela bonds, Russian bonds, or just things that you know at the odds of you getting your money back are like zero, right. only because the yield was high, not because the fundamentals were good. See, and that's the chase that people don't think about. They're out here chasing pumps, not realizing that there's always a dump after because it doesn't have good fundamentals. There's no reason to own it. There's no reason for it to exist. We, I mean, we're talking about thousands of coins, bro. How can thousands of coins all be good? Tell me, explain. Hold on, brother. I just seen you DM me. You trying to jump on, Molly? Because I will send you a link, Saya. Oh, yeah, I saw that shit. Yeah, I saw that BlackRock thing, man. I don't... Hex.com, uh, Hex .com, over 890 days of 100% uptime, no exploits or hacks. 891 days, I think, right? Yeah. I think, 800, uh, think 890 days or 891 days, I think is where we're at now. But, you know, these are the, these are the conversations we need to have, right? How do we move this this <laughs> this space forward? It's on us. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be on anybody else. Nobody else cares. Nobody else has the capacity to do it. We're the ones building. It's We're a heavy burden building. when no one cares. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> but you know, I was, I wish people would care more. We know? win, though. We win because we dictate the rules. That's yeah. why we got to. This is why. And Rags, I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. No, 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 please again. finish your point. Oh, well, what I was going to say, this is why we're building MCA. We're doing the Hex Investment Trust, which is for accredited investors because it's a 506C registered product, right? It's all these things to tie crypto into the real world that are going to get us to win because they're going to be forced to deal with us, right? This is why you got to donate money to these packs. This is why you got to get in front of these politicians and show them, hey, we mean business. This is what's wrong. This is the solution that we have to fix the problem. Do you want to play ball or are we going to go elsewhere 
and find somebody else that wants to play ball because now we're the ones that hold the keys. Clink, 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 clink. Floor is yours, sir. Yeah, man, I, I just – It's man, it's even it's it's very difficult for me to put this in words, but I'll just say this. Every every day is like every day that I'm in in this ecosystem, it's like I understand and I realize more and more and more that I didn't know the day before. I find that very, very interesting. I have these many epiphanies every day, and then I, I have gained a deeper understanding of why I'm actually here, that I had no clue why I was here before, except I was chasing money. Right. So I think this is kind of cool. Back when I was a, a younger man and I thought I had some type of career in music and in music production and all that BS, I reach out to this guy who's really successful. And I say, hey, man, like, what's the secret to blowing up? What's the secret to making it big? And he kind of pauses for a second and he just looks at me and he says, make good music. And then walk, he walks away. And in, in, at first, I'm like, son of a bitch, man. Make good music. Okay, there's all Not this obvious, other shit. Right? But no, that's all that's, it is. That's exactly it. Just like you make your good streams. Jim Rap makes his good streams. I make my good streams. Everybody does their own thing. We have to, dude. We have to. Just that's make good this. crypto. If you make a good yeah. crypto, it, that's the that's a massive portion of the marketing. Hex has yeah, been made. It is. You're right. I think you're, I think it is. And I think it is the fact that you said massive, but not all of it. It's definitely not all of it, right? Like, Correct. There, not all there's of always going to be that negative externality. And, the fuck? There's always going to be that ex negative externality. <laughs> <laughs> there's always going to be that negative externality in every crypto, right? In some way, shape, or form, some people that are rich are going to, you know, use the value to their advantage. And that's fine, right? But it's just like we said in Bitcoin earlier, even though it occurs... It's like how it's going to occur in every system, but in this system, it occurs not as much. Yeah. It's like you, you hear those the, the, in the movies and it's like every day that every day that he's alive, he grows stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's how Hex is. Every single day that we're alive and nothing as bad has happened, we're going we're gonna to continue to gain more and more momentum in more and more respect in the eyes of people who didn't give a damn about us before. We just keep doing what we're doing. You know, 75% is the fact that Hex is awesome. That's a marketing tool. Then we fill in the gap. The rest is the community. And, and we account for a lot. So. I mean, that's kind of the thing that people, I'm sorry, Rice. Go ahead. I thought you no, no, go ahead. Well, that's kind of the thing that people need to understand, right? Um, it's, you know, we are the drivers of this force, Right. We're the ones that determine the next steps. I mean, look at everything that the Bitcoin folks have done this year. All it's done is embarrass the space. Hands down, it's not added value in any way, shape, or form. I mean, what do you think people find when they find our community? They find a bunch of people that say, hey, man, you want to do that? We'll support you, but it's your own thing, you know? Nobody's going to stop you, but we're going to support you. Nobody told me to do what I'm doing. Nobody told Jim Rat to do what he's doing. Nobody told Rags to do what he's doing. Nobody told none of these streamers to do what they're doing. In fact, when they That's asked, a good point. we all ended up being here. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We're well, all think about this. Fuck. Well, you know, hold on, because it gets even better, Jim Rat. Because because you see points in time where people tweet out, "Oh, what should I stream about? What should I do a stream?" I'll, be, I'll automatically tell them, "Never ask, just do." Yes. Never ask, just do. And what does that mean? That means if you got to ask, you don't know what you should be talking about, so you shouldn't be saying shit. Because there's no genuine message that you're bringing to the table. Everybody and, has something to say, too. Yeah, that's right. And just some people choose not to say it. Yes. That's, that's we, it. Were, we were all quiet for a long time until we mm -hmm. decided to talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. People know I have a voice because they hear it. People know Jim Rat, Jim Rat has a voice because they hear it. They know you have a voice, Rags, because they hear your voice. 
Other, if you weren't we, talking, we were sick of listening to others. You know, like yeah. I was so sick of listening to YouTubers that knew nothing of what they were talking nothing. about, and I knew nothing of what I was talking about. But I was aware that they were clueless because I was smart in my own ways in other fields. And I was but what like, are you doing, crazy. though? But what are you doing? You're literally addressing that fact that you do not know, literally in real time, brother. Yeah, I was just like, mm -hmm. I'll just make a show that I wish I would enjoy on the daily about valuable crypto stuff. That's right. And 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 this is how you end up becoming a proficient individual over time. It's not by ignoring it. That's what I did for a long time. I ignored crypto. Right? I could have been well off maybe long ago if I would have played my cards better, but I didn't. Right? And this is right, but this is this is why you got to think. You know, what's the message? You know, the message is, hey, this is software. If the software works, it's the best software. Now, have you ever heard of 100% uptime in software? I never have, man. And Microsoft Paint had to be brought to my attention because that just <laughs> it's just not something you ever even think of because it's non-existent. It really is non-existent. Now, when the rest of the world finds this out, what do you think is going to happen? Seriously. You know, that's a question I want to ask both of you guys. I wish Dolph was on here to, to we answer. We look at the, the uh, on I my channel. Love this answer. <laughs> at, at my channel, we look at the S curve for adoption on other technologies a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and we compare the numbers mm -hmm. to uh, crypto because it's so new. Right. And and we were looking it's at some so numbers. New. Do you realize that we're not even at liftoff yet for the for the crypto S curve? Whatsoever. Yeah, two point five percent user volume. And they said in five years, if the S curve was like any bit, just on average, it would be 50% of like the population has some mm -hmm. interaction with crypto, crypto. Yeah. Five years, right. which is like ridiculous. That's like a, a complete, that's like a 25 X. Right. And, 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 and here's the thing. You're just talking about some random analysis. That's not even realistic. Yeah. It's low, right? low side. It's low side. That's right. Because what happened with social media when it became big, man, those were triple digit growth numbers for like a fucking decade. What? When when that fucking iPhone came out, mm. bro, the whole world changed overnight. I'm never going to forget it. I'm going to I'm always going to remember being in college and looking at these kids with these things in their hand. And I was happy about my Blackberry. I love the Blackberry. But the world said, fuck a Blackberry. What's going on, Molly? What's up, bro? Molly, what's up, man? What's up, right? Thanks for the super chat, Alan. Appreciate you, brother. What's up, Jim, right? Uh, I cannot find a bad hex streamer. Don't make me call people out in the comment section, please. Never say that again. Yeah, I don't know about that one. We got, <laughs> we got some bad hex streamers. Alan, I know what you're saying, though. You're just <laughs> yeah, kidding. I know what you mean, though. But yeah, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's a thought, guys. Uh, somebody kind of pointed this out. What a great time it would be right now if somebody didn't want crypto to be around or they wanted to cripple it for whatever reason, for their benefit or not. Wouldn't this be a great time to try to target stable coins? Sure would be. First and they, are, they already have. They already Look have. Look at USDT chart here. We, we've got something interesting going on right now. Mm -hmm. What a it's great gonna time. It's going to get real interesting. It's going to get really yeah, interesting. driving that wedge. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here, boys? So this is the USDT chart. So when we're looking at this right now, it's we've got we've got a sell off, and for some reason the peg's not kicking back up like it should. Stable coins were always going to be the attack vector for government mm -hmm. to come in. Yes, always, always, because they want to position their CBDC as the solution safety and the hero. It's the safety, the solution, the cure. Come to us, yes. open arms, and yes. that's it. We lose our tool to fight back. Yes, that's it. Simple. So, well, listen, guys, uh, Motley, sorry, I got to bounce. I got to get prepared yeah, for my stream here in a little bit. Wales, thank you so much for having me on. And, and Jim Wright Crypto, it's always a pleasure, brother. See you soon, brother. My pleasure, brother. Thanks for coming on, too, man. Yeah, y'all be good. Later. Peace, bro. <clears throat> and then there were three. Crazy times, man. Yeah, man. Oof. I'm so times. happy to be experiencing <sighs> this in real time and paying attention yes. to this. So so let's talk about the price of Hex. Why is Hex going down? Hex is going down because people are reacting to everything else. Well, according to B-Roots, it's because I'm dumping 
whales. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Babe Ruth is the biggest. I blocked that dude so long ago. I, I, blo I, blo I, blo I blocked him. I blocked him today. I, I was. I was tired of it. We don't talk about food rules on this channel, so we're just gonna keep yeah. moving. Yep, yeah, that's we fun. don't even want people to look these clowns up and get you're right, us you're right, you're way right. in the wrong direction, and, and that's kind of gets people thing. hurt, man. Yeah, look at look at today. Yeah, dude, today. I literally I I was talking about this on Jim Rat's, uh stream this morning. It's like I could not sleep last night. I didn't get to bed till about six in the morning because like I was fucked up just like watching people mm -hmm. just lose everything on yeah. on Twitter last night. Like yep. people were wrecked. People Real wanting time. to kill themselves. Like this shit is serious. This is some serious stuff. People are willing to kill themselves over the amount of money they've lost. And it's because people want to play these stupid games. We have it's a like, solution. Give them the give them the tool. Text. It's, it's that simple, bro. And thanks again for the super for the super chat. <laughs> Well, this is partially <laughs> true. That. This that. is partially true. We'll give I'll you that. Give you that. I'll give you that. We'll, we'll give you that. that. We'll give you that. But next time, man, just you know, buy hex with them five dollars. Jim Rat's all right, bro. Come on, man. I'm only a furu when I'm talking about uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> I know you're actually not. <laughs> the actual furus are the Bitcoin maxis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look, man, it's 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 about understanding where you're at, right? Um, that's the problem with Bitcoin maxis. They don't now want to with Bitcoin. I can't, I just haven't been able to wrap my head around it too far. Bro, it's software. It's software. When I say value prop, I just mean like, what's going to keep it moving forward. Precisely. Right. It's bad software. What could it, what could it be? That's going to keep it moving. It really doesn't make sense to me, but like other people bring up really good points and it makes me confused. That's the thing. What good points are there? There's just so many words. There's so many words, dude. <laughs> so many words in crypto. But that's the right. thing. Do they matter? No, but like people say them constantly. But, but that's kind of the thing, right? This is why we have to define what crypto is. People don't know what crypto is, bro. It's software first and foremost. True. This is why Hex is where it's at, and everything else is like bleeding eternal death. Like Hex might be down seventy percent, but as what? after doing ten thousand X. So I was gonna do a video and talk on this. Then there's someone that's kind of come into the community as of late, kind of more of the standard YouTube model model, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to bash on him or anything like that. But he did this video recently of when is the appropriate time to launch pulse chain and you know they do the standard youtube pitch this crazy hook catastrophic don't do it if richard hart launches pulse chain it's all over awful blah 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 right it's all part of the youtube model which a lot of us just don't follow in hex and right. the the issue as i was i was just like watching this video is there's just so many things just just didn't make sense and i see people just trying to force these points on people that just have no correlation whatsoever talking about like liquidity is just like we need to launch towards bitcoin happening or going back oh to the or or go back to the terminology of what wales was talking about is like you get all these words and buzzwords like DeFi. one of his points was like uh hex's major uh point of success is largely and due to the fact that it wrote up this DeFi bubble and that's why it was largely successful and it's like the I love the guy. I'm glad he's trying to do his thing now, but like he, he hasn't been in the ecosystem. I went back and watched his videos that he was using to kind of bolster like his credibility. And, you know, he free claimed his Bitcoin and bought like a, a 500 bucks or something like that. And then never touched Hex for like another year and a half before his next video. But DeFi, it, the people that have been here the whole time, Hex created DeFi, like Hex and Uniswap. Uniswap preceded Hex by like a month. And then Hex took over and became 80% of the trading volume for like three to four months. And outside of Hex and Uniswap, there's very little that I'm aware of. And there's a lot of stuff out there. So maybe there's something, but there's no other products that I'm aware of that is true DeFi outside of Uniswap and Hex. And everything else likes to use the word DeFi and this yield and all this stuff, but it comes at a cost. Give up your coins. Uh, algorithmic stable coin to earn this yield all this stuff is usually just a perpetual negative feedback loop that usually ends up implosion 
at some point and destroys everyone involved. So like this this claim that Hex wrote up the DeFi bubble and that's why it was successful and blah blah blah. It's like Hex Hex launched in a bear market. Had nothing to do with the Bitcoin happening. Didn't have anything to do with the DeFi bubble. Hex is DeFi. It's one of the only DeFi products that I am personally aware of. Nothing else like it really exists in crypto. There's just nothing out there. So some of those statements were just so far off base. It was it was kind of infuriating to even see that video. And like I, I was trying to help him on Twitter. It's like, look, man, like a lot of your stuff was off base and he just LOL'd it. I'm like, I'm not, bro, I'm not trying to bash you. I'm trying to make you better. If you want to come into this community, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to understand what you're talking about. And it was just missing very few, very key points. I was just like, and that's why okay. people stay away too. If people stay away, it's not it's not always easy having to know things on demand in the future like as you go right like it's easier to like not do that it's yeah easier to- well it's easier to not know anything right and that's why people people yeah. really and on like, i hope terror works and out you- let me do my channel yeah. and just make some it depend on out. hopes and shit right hopes and dreams and all that and that's not what we're here for what's up my brother how you doing yeah. Buy, buying hex doesn't make you a hexagon right like you have nah, to understand it, it you have to understand how to utilize the tool like and hey, it was hey, funny. Up, that, what's Hold up, Dasha? Uh, Someone's got a little bit of feedback too. Is that you, Will? I think, my, I think actually there is. I've been hearing feedback and I didn't know. Maybe it's me. Hold on. Just yeah, a it's hair. A it's a hair of static. But another thing was like the first five minutes video was like trying to lend credibility to himself. And so I was like, okay, let me go take a look at his hex videos and just see what's up. And like, I. You know, he was very cautious with Hex is fine, but he did also dismiss it like an outright scam. He's like, hey, look, you can free claim your Bitcoin. Like, what a cool feature. You don't you don't have to you don't have to risk any money or anything like that. But then the same token, he was just like, I wouldn't personally buy this. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, he got a little free claim Bitcoin. And then a year and a half later, the next video is like, hey, this did really well. I bought a car. But the people that understood it and really peeled back those layers they could buy a car every couple of days if they wanted to with the trustless yield they earned. So there's, again, there's just levels to this stuff and you have to make sure you come correct if you're re- trying to come as a source of knowledge on the topic, right? Like you really have to know your fucking shit. You have correct. to be able to know it in and out. So if, you want to, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to teach people this stuff. Mm-hmm. That's 100% imagine, fact. That's imagine, 100% if you knew, imagine if some of those guys in Terra Luna Holding that yield staking, we're just doing three month stakes, sixty day stakes, thirty day stakes on hex, rather than putting all their money on that little bridge and getting mm. stuck there in ruin with everyone, as they all were in the Telegram. I mean, in the uh, Twitter space, it's just like we can't move our money. Period. That's what they were saying. We there was a thousand people in there. They're basically like one guy every once in a while would be like, I had a transaction go through. That's fucking insane. Imagine that, man. Just not being able to do grown anything. Man, grown man. Like, yo, it's insane. Let's look at Bitcoin. $28,375. Now, this, folks, is a liquidation event in Ooh. real time. We are now hitting new lows across the board going back to 2021, January. It's getting serious. God damn. And all those people that have funds tied up in all this nonsense, they're they're screwed, unfortunately. It's not funny. I don't think it's funny. I mean, I'm not here talking shit. You know, I take this very seriously, and this is why I get mad. This is why I get upset. This is why I sound mad and upset. It's 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 serious. People's livelihood is serious to me. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you didn't make any money and you lost it instead. Instead, people's children too. Like that's that's important. Like people have children. Yeah, like, people are doing this because they need the money, not because they're playing a game. This isn't a game. And I think people just don't understand that. They come to crypto for the for the answer, man. They come yeah. to crypto to get out of this. We're, we're supposed to be saving and, them. Yeah, you're supposed to be the saviors and give them the you know the golden ticket to get out of this shit. Give them access to the golden city on the hill yeah. and they come here and god forbid they don't find something like hex and they go just about damn near anywhere else and they just end up in a more wrecked position than where they started and they're just like oh well that wasn't it crypto is not the answer let me go let me go back or let me call for Yo, regulation i forgot about like, that somebody sent me this this is true so for terra lunar or whatever the name of the organization is 
somebody sent me the document. They could literally read Korean and they told me verbatim. They did that. The business was dissolved before everything unraveled. They knew they were going to bankrupt everybody. Uh, no more home office to complain to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. That gold key video, some video he retweeted, the guy that like laid it out pretty solid about how they could pretty much uh, sell the stuff off and liquidate the people before anyone it was listed. Yeah. Which should, which should never be the case in crypto anyways. Like right. there shouldn't be a call line that you're like, Hey, I like, can I get my money back? Like if you're, if that exists in the first place, then like, well, there should all be, the time. it's not, it's not crypto. It's not crypto. There should be yeah, some support. Crypto. There should be some customer support. That's right. Yeah. I mean, this is not a day for us to celebrate whatsoever. This is a, okay. this is a day of reflection for everybody that's involved in this space. This is a day where we define where we pivot left or right backward or forward right and this is why i'm having this stream i mean it's pretty serious you know because they're gonna try to play their little game problem reaction reaction solution, solution. hegelian dialectic thank that's you right. Wales. that's right this is what everything this is all i try to teach everybody everything is that it doesn't matter if it's guns it doesn't matter if it's war every single thing is that Mm. Mm. every single thing this is definitely something we all need to be looking at and taking it seriously because now post chains is around the corner we have maxi we have hedron we have two new things that were built on top of hex and what did they do they followed the principles and this is why they've been successful so far those that do not they get ignored they get ghosted they're irrelevant they're not part of the ecosystem. They're just there. Is that what you want? Or do you want something to be successful? I mean, you got to think about intention behind everything you do in this space because this is cryptocurrency. This is not corporate America. We don't give a fuck about your organization here, homie. We run this shit. Yeah, it's a new this day. Is, this is mafia rules over here. This is jailhouse rules over here because we set the rules. It's a rule of the streets. Yeah. This is why people are out here getting rinsed because they don't have any street smarts. And there's people in hacks that don't have street smarts and they don't know that it's like, it's like, yeah. it don't matter what you like. It's this is the wild fucking West. Like, that's right. The per the people that are new to, to cryptocurrency and find hex and maxi and he drawn first, consider yourselves part of the select that. few. Yeah. Part of the select few. Because you're never going to experience the heartache and pain that these other folks are experiencing right now because you had the wherewithal to buy something that is tied to math. And, and speaking, if I can interject, speaking yeah, to sure. that heartache, speaking to that heartache and pain, it's not just the choice of where you're, what asset you're purchasing, right? Jim Rat Crypto and I can testify we're in an educational arc. Right? right, we're in the middle of a process, and this young brother and I, we're we're hitting the street running, given good education and good information by guys like Motley, by guys like Whales Only, Wendy's for Tendies, Orca. Okay, these guys mm -hmm. coming out dropping pure science. How could a guy, case in point, how could a half smart guy like myself, almost a year ago, call it to a T? that tether was over leveraged and <clears> one day was going to bring it bring down a, a house of cards you know as somebody who had been in crypto for three years that's some advanced shit to be speaking about yes, what gave is. me the authority to be speaking about that a year ago three years understanding ago. understanding Being, yep yeah and, and more precisely knowing having the discernment to hear what you guys are spitting and seeing the light and knowing that it's the truth Right, but but here's the thing. It takes two to tango. And this is what I want everybody to understand. While me, Motley, Jim Rat, you, we have some knowledge, all we do is have some knowledge. Right? That's all we can do. All we can do is actually have some knowledge. We still have to continuously learn and update our worldview as our reality or perception thereof changes. Indubitably. Yeah, and, and this is something that, yo, look, 
I'm 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 considered a young guy, but girl, I spent a long time busting my head. So I don't feel young, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to like real life, like my body physically feels young, but mentally, man, I'm an old motherfucker. You, you're Born old. The fuck old. out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there, bro. I'm getting yeah. there. To, to, I yeah. felt it today, man. Today's mm-hmm. been taxing. Mm-hmm. And it's going to only get more taxing her because what are we doing? We're lifting heavier cinder blocks. Yo, what we're trying to do is create a whole new economy here. Right? This is why me, Axis, and Wave 3 decided to make that stream. We, this is that stream is nothing was That's not good. any what well, was well, check it. it none of the information was new first of all so i was slightly offended that everybody was so impressed by it. <laughs> <laughs> i was like hold the fuck on so you guys were ignoring me for the past year and a half like i got my hand on my hip like what the fuck <laughs> that's no shit that's what he said to me in a private text as well he's like bro this is like much ado about nothing man it's yeah. just like uh, uh same repeat. shit we always talk about bro <laughs> But I get it. It was a presentation and in the manner that we did it and how we kind of gave everybody a timeline. Like, I get it. I'm just talking shit. But the whole point is you got to take all those independent topics and make them yours. Because it's one thing to to like a story and get the movie and all of that, right? And that's basically what we did that day. We gave you guys the story from the 1960s, 50s on forward. That's what we did. But what happens? Well, now you just have one little sliver of all these different things you don't actually know anything you know it makes me think you never you know how they say you never step in the same river twice yes i love that i remember the first time i heard that it fucked me up (laughs) because it's true yeah like if you take it down to a quantum level and not to not to digress too far but here comes thoughts child right if you take it down to a molecular level i mean our (laughs) bodies are disassimilating and reassimilating in totality every time every every, second of the day every few minutes yes so pretty much you never step in the same hexaco twice and this is speaking to why i think perhaps there's a different flavor of buzz about things that you've been consistently saying for a long time. We got some right. new personnel. We have some first graders that are now fourth graders. We have some fourth Good graders call. that are now in middle school. So Good call. that I think is kind of where that's coming from. Good call. Yeah. And you know, what's great is the fact that, you know, we all teach each other, right? Like I've learned from Motley. I learned from Thoughts Child. I've learned from fucking Jim Rat. Yo, this is how it works. We don't all know everything. And I and I got I keep saying that, you know, and I'm gonna beat that drum until I you know lose my fist and can no longer beat and have no arms. Like this is how it works. You know, just like you guys learn all these different things from me. When you guys are typing a little crazy comments in the chat that I just can't address at all times, you know, because I'm rambling on and I gotta keep rambling. Keep don't think I don't yeah, well, exactly. Don't think I don't think about it. <clears throat> Like, you know, what you write matters to me. You guys are here watching. I wouldn't matter if you weren't watching. I'd be talking to myself otherwise, right? I'm jabbering in the corner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because I'll tell you what, I don't do pre-recorded because of that. I don't like talking to myself. It feels weird. This is why I only have live streams. Nice. Shout yeah, out to bro. Coffee and Huddle Dog. <laughs> Somebody got it. Somebody got it. <laughs> when, yeah. when I hear myself talk, so I get ooh. sick. I hate my oh, yeah. voice and everybody loves it. How does that feel? I don't know how to tell you, bro. It's weird. There's Isn't actually a term for that. <laughs> Is there a term for that? Oh, I'm yeah, the, yeah, there's a ter- there's a term for it because um there's a distinction in your voice when it goes over like a recording or a device and you actually yeah. hear it play back to yourself. So it feels dissimilar to what you're right. actually usually hearing now in the world. In and yourself. there's actually right. yeah, there's actually a term for it of not liking your own voice for that reason. I yeah, think. and it's the weirdest thing to me when people like freak out, like, "Oh, your voice is so." I'm like, "Yeah, right, you, you get compliments, man. You have a quality man. voice. Like, yeah, you're like, you've been saying problem. we should get Samuel Jackson to narrate the fucking documentary. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you should narrate the documentary. <laughs> hey, look, if I wasn't it'd be A-list, cheaper, it'd be cheaper. It'd definitely it'd be, cheaper. be cheaper. But if I wasn't an A-list name, it wouldn't be cheaper either, right? <laughs> I think we're going for impact though. here. <laughs> you couldn't narrate a book. You wouldn't have to listen to it over. Well, that'd be cool. That would be Humpty cool. Dumpty, I mean, you know, if, if you like the book, especially, Humpty it'd be Dumpty cool. Took yeah. a quick motherfucking fall. <laughs> Here's this guy. 
Oh, man. But look, we got to understand, you know, the main point of this is of this stream is really to impress upon the community and anybody that's new, really, um, not just to Hex, but just to cryptocurrency in general, that if you want to be a part of this game, you got to you got to come to the table and, and put your skin down. You got to put your skin in the game, right? You got to participate. You can't just pretend to think you're going to get rich and not have to do anything. Because and, what happens is you end up looking like Bitcoiners. And I and I, I see I see this issue come up a couple of times in the community where people like they then take what Wales just said and then they call it well that's just toxic like maximalism or the same thing as Bitcoin. Right. But it's like it's no, it's just we hold people to a higher standard. Like if you're going no. to come and be a part of us, be part of this community, like you you have to hold yourself to that same standard. And again, especially if you want to come in and teach upon this stuff because we care about the message that gets out to these people. Amen to that, man. That is you cool. have to, you have to hold yourself to the same standard that the community holds themselves to. It's not toxic maximalism. It's just we expect things to be done well here because this tool has the ability to save so many damn lives. And Luna and UST is a prime example of what just happened and like what we're trying to fix here. Like we have the tools to fix it, so we make sure that when we come to the table with facts, like. They're legit, and we put in our time, we put in our skin, we know it's right. So it seems like toxic, toxic mass right. when you look at what you've seen in the rest of the market, but it's in fact very, very different. We've seen what happens in the rest of the market, and what happens to these people, they get destroyed. We have the better product, and we just want you, to, if you're gonna come in here, we'll, we'll take you with open arms, yeah. but you got if you're gonna come in with that same high high standard we expect, and if not, we'll, we'll help you. But you got to be willing. You have to be willing to learn too. It's quality control, Motley. It really 100%. is. Hundred percent. That's quality how you nailed it. Control. And we we're the ones that got to do it. Nobody else is going to do it for us, right? And yes. I think that's the 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 key to understanding that, right? Thank you, Mel Tony. It's called voice confrontation, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it no, it no. is. There is an actual terminology to it. So. Not liking oh, the yeah. sound of other motherfuckers chewing is misophonia. I learned that. Uh, I guess I you got, got that. that. I got yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell would know that unless they got it, right? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yo, I've been trying to buy some more something. Not going to disclose. But uh, this gas has been ridiculous. Ugh. Hmm. Freaking killing me, man. But yeah. So, you know, if we want to maintain the standard that we have, the quality that we have, I mean, look at Richard. The rest of the space does not have a single founder that even reaches his ankles. That's right. Period. Now, I like to think we have the highest caliber of streamer content and caliber just streamer in general. And we got brand new lows. 27,900 live. Woo! 27 wow. nine guys. Wow, guys. 27 eight. Hey Jim Rat, who five. called uh, who called us following below 28,000 on your stream a couple days ago? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you the guys who did it's about, and I'll it's tell you the guys who did it. It's about to get ugly, bro. Did it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who called the top a year ago? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who called fifteen thousand? I'm not a chart yeah. guy. I just, I just, we're, I can see the, there. I can, I can see the macro views <laughs> of where we're going. And I was just like, oh, this shit's gonna yeah, be well, ugly. Well, well, that's the thing, Molly. This is how you learn. The next time you are gonna be able to make that call. The hey, first man. time I couldn't. No, the yeah. first time I couldn't. I had no idea what the fuck was going on the first time. Mm. This is gonna be your first actual experience, <laughs> right? You're gonna see. Like, okay, I'm actually paying attention. I'm a wealthy dude now. I got to explain all this shit because I'm trying to onboard the world. We have to understand. This is why we all know crypto, uh, Bitcoin so well. Because we have to be able to make that discernment between good software and bad software when we're explaining it to people. Right? I think, I think that's important, no? Very important. Yeah. yeah. If, you don't, if you don't have the sight to to detect the uh, authenticity, then you better have uh, emphasis on some other gifts, some other <laughs> modes of discerning. Something, yeah, something. And that's cool. Uh, it takes all different kinds, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Some people just have the math brain, the the left brain. Some people only have the right brain. Some people have a nice synthesis of both sides. You got to use whatever you were given. Take that shit to the ultimate degree. Make your decision, man. Hedron's falling off a frigging cliff right now. 
Man. Dude. Everything, well, watch everything, everything, is everything is fall off the cliff. Yeah, everything's falling off the cliff. Right know, look, at, right. look at Hex. Hex is 13 and a half. Yeah. But why? I just bought I just bought at 16 the other day or it's whatever. It's important like, to understand why okay. though, right? Yeah. I mean, look, Maxi's at 23 and a quarter. Like this is all important to understand the why. PLSD is at two. It's important to understand why this stuff is happening. This is what separates us hexagon streamers from the rest of the space. We don't got to guess, guys. We know because we study and we analyze. We're not afraid to put our two cents out there and say, hey, we might be wrong, but this is what we're seeing. Because that's how markets work. Ooh. You know, it's, it's, it's that simple, unfortunately. Uh, you don't have to be some genius. That's that's a lie. That's a false narrative. That's not true. Mm -hmm. um, you can be a novice like I once was, and you can also be me like I am today. <clears throat> and guess what? I'm still learning. Nice, I don't know everything. Man. That's a sign of the true, truly you know, true master, the truly educated is that the more, you know, the more you learn, you need to know. That's right. How, how else are we going to get better? Right. I mean, like, look, I remember at the beginning, I used to have a lot of disagreements with people, but it was because they weren't understanding my vantage point. I realized that I was talking above their heads. That could be an inadequacy on you as a teacher, too. Yes, yeah. correct. That's yeah. right. That's 100% oh, correct. Motley, Motley had me thinking about that the other day in that comment you made, brother. I was like, Damn. No, but Motley, he said, he said following my vernacular can be in can the be military. <laughs> and I misspelled it, too. <laughs> Motley, in the military, how does it work? How does it work in the military? You got to be made. You got to make sure everybody gets it. Yeah. No offense. From, your, from your, the smart, smartest guy in your division to the guy that chews on a box of rocks. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. So it was on me. That's exactly the that was exactly the point I was getting to. Because this is how we improve. Nobody understood what the hell Wales was saying a year ago. Over time, I had to chip and chip and chip and break it down and this and that. And that's how we all, to a certain extent, have an idea, somewhat of an understanding. Oh, inflation is doing this to interest rates, which is making it hard for companies to borrow money so they're not able to fund their operations and the supply chain issue is also a problem so they're not even able to make the sales like they were last year mm -hmm. so it's all these different impacts that you guys all understand that the rest of the crypto space has no freaking clue about hey, never Will, mind can I ask you a question about Go that ahead. real quick yeah, sure, sure. are you still i i got excited when you made mention of the fact that you were considering re-recording re-presenting whales only number one through five or one through seven is that right. still possible for us uh to expect that that might be coming yeah that's gonna that happen point? at some point yeah that's gonna happen at some point. i'm just trying to think about how i want to do it yeah okay I did it, I did it in like presentation format so i would have to kind of replicate that yeah well i think I'm sorry not to put pressure on you, but no, 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 I, I think it is needed. I think it is vital, and you can sign me up for spreading the gospel of those links. That's for <laughs> sure, man. Right, yeah. Like, I mean, this is the stuff. thing. But, but this is what's cool, right? It takes some understanding to realize that that's needed hmm. because everybody needs this education. Richard can't do it by himself, guys. He cannot. Motley can't do it by himself. Jim Rat can't do it by himself. Doc can't do it by himself. I can't do it by myself. Like it, it can't happen that way. We all have to take our place on the chessboard and do our thing. That's how it works. This is how we all win. We win as a unit. Motley, you did your part the other day, and I wanted to thank you for that. You and Wendy's killed it on Million or the Moon. As a matter of fact, oh, it's like the other day. I was like, what was they doing the other day? <laughs> I love those guys. They're so a couple funny, days ago. <laughs> couple no, they're, days ago. They're good. They're good dudes. And you well, know, listen, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to explain to a lot of my onboards, uh, you know, noobs and rooks, what I meant when I was saying we do not want hex on a centralized exchange. Please adjust your thinking. That is not going to be like the checkered flag for us. Yeah, and a lot of these a guys. They can't let go of that conception. Yeah, and, they don't get it. You know, man. if we're not on Binance or Coinbase, it's like, eh, we're somehow failing. I was like, I took and clipped 
the parts of you and Wendy's talking on that million or the moon stream, because you guys fucking nailed it. You took the words right out of my mouth. You encapsulated the sentiment and the idea perfectly, man. So thank you for that. Appreciate that's, that. That's an example of us all doing our part right there. And, and it was funny too, because I, I like those guys. They're, they're funny, good guys and they're yeah. smart. Like I, I, I caught one of them on, uh, it was actually Craig Wadian's stream, the um, Gen, Hex. Gen Hex, and I and I was just I was just I was watching like I was watching the conversation go, and I was just watching how he was articulating these good points and bringing up these good questions. I was like, oh, that you can just tell when someone. I was just like, oh, that person is really smart. I was like, I'd never seen him before. So like, I reached out to Gen Hex. I was like, yo, what was that dude's? Uh, what's that dude's handle that was on your stream? Like, I'd like to reach out to him and talk to him because he brought up a lot of really interesting stuff. And so then we had that stream and it was funny because last night I was actually busting those guys balls a little bit uh -huh. because on Twitter and it's funny too, right? Like I did it in kind of a playful manner, but I'm also very serious because last night they posted, uh, they bought a UST or not UST Luna for like, right. Just under $5. Ouch. I was like, and, and I was like, I was like, guys, I was like, be careful. Like people you're smart. Like people look up to you and just something as you think inconsequential of you posting, hey, bought some Luna for a gamble at, you know, just under five dollars. Wow. Um, like people look up to you. People consider you intelligent. People value what you say. So you have to always take a step back. Now, if you choose to put yourself in this light in front of people streaming, teaching, mm -hmm. you have to be very cognizant of what you're throwing out there. And I'm the, I'm saying I'm far from perfect, but I was just reminding them like, guys, this shit is clearly shown that it is broken sure there's this really risky speculative side where like well it's down so much you the upside is tremendous but you literally have proof in front of you of just the utmost broken product yeah and you're saying hey we're buying here it's like that's dangerous because people are looking for hope at that point they're so crushed they're looking for any exit any salvation so people that are already destroyed look at something like that that you might post and because they value your opinion like Maybe this is my salvation. Maybe I can get this new dollar cost average in and I can come in at $5 and maybe save some of this on the run up. And then you look at it today, we're about to go below a dollar. So them, them boys are still, they got feet in both waters. And, they and, still are and in that know, trading mindset, but they are amenable to hex. Cause I seen them with whales yeah, last year too, right? Whales, you were on that show. And we, we, we went back and yeah, forth. Yeah, I like them. They're good. They're good. Yeah, I they're like good. Them. And it was, it was a little bit of banter, but like, I was just like, and, and like, oh, well, it's a small amount. Like we're, you know, we're just having some fun. I risking it. And I was just, I was just making sure, making it clear to them that they saw the other side too. It's like, yeah, yeah. sometimes you do realize you have to, you have a responsibility. If you're, if you want to put yourself in this position where you are that focal point of like people come to you for some sort of knowledge or at least a piece of it, like you yeah. have to be careful of what you put out there and even something 100%. you think is fun and like you want to throw around a couple hundred dollars thousand dollars whatever minimal amount of money is to you yeah you have desperate people out there and you're essentially saying like hey i'm buying this broken thing at five dollars that's a big moment that, for a young yeah. man to take the so, responsibility of his influence and like i um, might have not i might have not even thought that i might have not had that similar thought process even like a year or two at that age before, yeah, before yeah. I, definitely not at that age and then especially not even they're even not being in this ecosystem and this Richard Hart ecosystem, this community for the past two years, I probably, I probably wouldn't have dot that thought that deeply on that point, mm -hmm. but I, I just wanted to bring it to their attention. Like, Hey guys, like you, you do kind of have a little bit of responsibility, be, be careful like this. Mm -hmm. And this is why I just, I couldn't sleep last night, man. I just, just seeing all this stuff. And then you have the top gurus in the space, just literally destroying people continuously telling them to buy they're in over their their eye like they're drowning like they're they're yep. wrecked and i'm just i'm just losing my goddamn mind just trying to save as many people as i can and um or at least give someone lend someone an ear so they don't fucking walk off a damn ledge yeah i mean it's it's serious man but look guys i love to keep this stream going but i'll get my run in <laughs> um yeah i gotta go work out too yeah, please uh, take the lessons shared here seriously. Share this video with others. Please help people understand cryptocurrency is software. It is not a game. There should not be anybody controlling anything that their money is tied into, period. The words and definitions. Learn what DeFi means. Damn straight. Learn the difference between total value locked and total fake value locked, right? There's definitely a difference.
Yes, sir. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, be sure to, if you're an accredited investor and you're looking for a cryptocurrency exposure, check out hexinvestmenttrust.com. I mean, at this point in time, you want something that's just as good as Hex, and, and that would be that on the fiat side because that's the point of that. Um, so again, thank you guys for tuning in. Spread the word. People need to hear about Hex, both in crypto terms and in legacy terms, because that's what it's about at this point. We have to save the world because you know they're not going to save themselves. Nobody's doing it for us. And nobody's doing it for us. So peace. Later, guys. Right? The reality is, is that I want to be rich as fuck. There's only one way to be rich as fuck. That's by sitting on your ass the longest. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's the secret. I will told you, Richard done told you, I done told you, Kareem done told you, Maddie done told you, everybody done told you, everybody done told you, people the fuck is still acting like they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. There's plenty of games left. Valiant done told you. Yo, everybody said it. I mean, hey, you know what it is, man. Everybody done told you. Y'all's deep. Everybody.